I know most of you have been waiting for this video for so long but the good news right now is that the video is here it's due to the fact that i was busy i got busy in school and a lot of stuff going on that's how come i've not been able to update you but like i said the good news right now is the fact that well, the video is right here and yes in the next few minutes i'm quickly going to update you on the challenge that uh, i took right and a long story short I've blown the accounts. In other words, I've filled the challenge. That is the whole thing about this story, right? So most of you knew that I was in a drawdown along the line and I was struggling to come on, kind of come up, I mean, to recover. But the week in which I actually blown the account, I was able to recover from the loss, right? From the drawdown, I was able to recover and I gained two percent profits on the account literally i've i've uh gained that two percent it means i'm low with six percent profit to actually pass the phase one of the challenge but the very day i went up two percent something just came up i was like no if i should continue this it's definitely going to cripple me along the line because Truth be told, I'm not going to lie, it is giving me a whole lot of stress, like tough time. Honestly, I'll just be there doing something and I'll be like, no, I have an account which I'm supposed to trade and pass the challenge. Then I'll stop whatever I'm doing. And if I see whatever I'm doing, probably related to school stuff, right? I'm currently in the final year. So I'll just stop the thing and be like, oh, let me continue with this. Let me go and trade this accounts like look for setup and trade then i'll leave whatever i'm doing and go to the chart and see what i can do right so this thing has been going on and on and honestly i i wasn't happy i wasn't happy with it because it is kind of distracting me with me knowing that with a fact that what the whole challenge will be over on the 4th of july which is yet to come though i know it will it will end at that time and if i should actually take the account serious there's a higher probability of me passing the challenge before the 4th of july but the other thing that i thought of next is that what if i pass the challenge and i'm trading this account probably emotion is going to be attached to it and i'm also in school and this is my final year and i have to focus on certain things do this once and for all and if I am kind of having this kind of divided attention it's literally going to affect me in one way or the other so i was like let me just kind of forget this and like take my mind off it and the only way i could do that i was like damn it i am going to blow this account and i took a trade on the good not just a trade with a big loss at like 0.8 yes i use 0.8 that's crazy on a small account i use 0.8 and i open multiple positions like with gold and you all know how volatile gold is so it was, it was something crazy so within like 10 to 5 uh, 5 to 10 minutes i just got a notification that oh you filled the challenge and i was like good i filled it because i've blown the account and if you go to my twitter timeline right now you'll probably see it over there. i pin it over there that yes i've i've blown the account like it was crazy right but there's something that happened right after blowing the account i realized it was probably a mistake that i made i was like i should have given that account to somebody else to trade and guys i'm really really sorry about that trust me after after blowing the account i regretted that moment because of, i can give it to someone else to trade and keep everything instead of blowing it I mean, if the person happens to pass the challenge, and the person can keep everything instead of him blowing it, owing to the fact that I was able to come up in a profit, like 2% profit out of the 8% that uh, I'm targeting, I've been able to come up with 2%. Then the person can work out the remaining 4% before 4th of July. Then, I mean, the person can pass it possibly. The person can pass the challenge and probably proceed with the next phase and probably get funded. So, that was the only thing i regretted about the whole thing that i did like seriously I, i'm not going to lie it's something that 
like it hurts me after i realized that so i could have given to either one of my followers yes it's cool like that but you know what it's it's happened already hopefully there will be another chance probably i'll be able to even give out challenge accounts for people to trade maybe you might be a lucky one who knows but for now i'm not going to be that much actively trading that's also another thing i wanted to let i want to let you know i'll not be actively trading because of school once i'm done i know i'll have a time to you know go into the market the market is not going anywhere it's there forever and school it's kind of something with time so yeah for now i'm just going to be with my school related stuff i will not be actively trading until i'm done with school that means it's kind of the remaining months of the year i'll be busy with school stuff like crazy 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 one so you may not see me being on a chart and stuff like that so if you get any anything like that or you get it i don't know how to put it but if you notice anything like that just know that what i am there but i'm not actively trading and even right now i'm not active on most of my platform because of school yeah all right yo wish me best <laughs> school is not easy but it will be all right right it will, it will be all right i believe so y'all wish me well okay wish me well and i hope to come back stronger and let's do this trading stuff the real way i mean with a full beam with a full energy that will be able to do extraordinary stuff right i'll see you probably in my next video this is gossip here bless up